you know, the difference to me, you know, there are many people who struggle to be, they have great, they want to write a novel or they want to do something in the arts or some, you know, some long-term project and they can never quite get it together. And I was that way for years and years and years. I would start something, take it 99% of the way through and then crash. And to me, the, what, the insight that sort of turned the corner for me was realizing that I was an amateur, that I was, uh, you know, when adversity hit, I didn't have the guts to stick it out. You know, I didn't have the patience, all those warrior virtues, right? I suppose amateur to pro is the difference between non-warrior and warrior. But, uh, you know, a, a professional is somebody, if you think of a professional athlete that knows how to play hurt, that shows up every night, that, you know, when when there's no glamour involved in it, is still there doing the work, you know, putting, you know, doing the shoot around, putting up the shots, taking care of uh, turning pro. The book is about the moment of t changing from an amateur into a pro, even if it's only in your own mind, you know, forgetting about the money aspect of it. Well, to me, the enemy is this force that I call resistance with a capital R. And it's inside ourselves. And it's the force, it's all the forces that will keep us from becoming our best self, from getting our PhD, from starting that business, from, you know, creating, you know, the art of manliness or whatever it is, whatever enterprise we're, we're talking about. Self-sabotage, procrastination, perfectionism. All of those things that we know about laziness, greed, um, over competitiveness, um, that's resistance. And um, it seems to be, it must be born in everybody because I get hundreds and hundreds of letters, as you can imagine. So that is a real Eastern principle. It's a Hindu principle that uh, the concept of, like we here in the States, if we're going to start some kind of project, we already ask ask ourselves, right? Well, what's the payoff? Yeah. Where's the money? Where are the women? Or oh, what, what do I get out of this stuff, right? Whereas it's a much more Eastern concept to say that the work is its its own reward, and you're not looking for the big payoff, pie in the sky, brass ring at the end, but you're just trying to you have the right to to do your labor, but not to the fruits of your labor. And if you look at people that that crash and burn after success, it's, you can watch it again and again. They suddenly get the fruits of their labor and they just dive in and forget everything else. And then it's the fastest way to go straight down the tubes. When is the most dangerous time for a fighter pilot? And it is, the answer is it's immediately after making a kill because you're suddenly Right, you're all puffed up with yourself. You're so, and you lose. You take your eye off the ball, and somebody is on your tail, and they shoot you down. 